This is a creative comedian. You may have seen him in Police Academy. Actor. He's a wonderful art connoisseur. He's a gourmet cook. But I think, too, the great unwashed will always know him as the master of the macabre, okay? Personally, he's, his favorite movie, I was looking over all the many movies he's made, is Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine, but he tries to forget that one. He is now currently seen on PBS hosting Mystery Theater. Will you please welcome a very good friend of mine, Mr. Vincent Price. <laughs> You did not walk under the ladder. That's the most wonderful recipe for roast feet. <laughs> no, I wouldn't walk under a ladder for anything in the world. Are you superstitious? Certainly I'm superstitious. I don't take any chances at all. What are yeah. some of the superstitions? Well, I, I have one, you know, if I'm walking down the street with somebody and something comes between us, a post or something like that, I always say bread and butter. I suppose that's my main superstition. I've been doing that since I was a little kid. And I, I have a lot of other superstitions, too. I don't want to take any chances. On our front door, we have a cross and a mezuzah. <laughs> no. Cover your bases. Cover your bases, <laughs> absolutely. You know, I, I think, though, that the English have more superstitions. I have a feeling they invented them because they don't speak very well. <laughs> and um, there's one of them that has always mystified me, and that is the one about a certain play of Shakespeare's that they never mention the word and they never quote it. It said, worst luck in the world. It's about a, a Scottish lady who walks in her sleep. Macbeth. M <laughs> You're not supposed to say the name? Fair hours and happy thoughts attend on thee, Joan. <gasps> Ian McClellan was here and he quoted from that. So Is he still living? It's, it's, what, now you really are into that, yes, but also into it funny. No, it really is, it's really true, though. Macbeth, I think, <laughs> See, there it goes. That, I've blown it. Well, no, 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 here. Salt. Oh, salt, thank you. Just in case. <laughs> no, I, I think the reason, I, I did some research on it, because I think the reason was that the play was never a success. And that consequently, nobody ever mentions it. You know, they always call it Coral, my wife, Coral. You know Coral. Coral, do I know your <laughs> wife? Do you know my wife, Coral? <clears throat> she was a very famous Scottish lady. I mean, she was really supposed to be one of the best ever to play that part. But she never mentions it and crosses herself and does all kinds of things and twirls around and crosses her thumbs and says all kinds of things. Very strange. Theatrical ones. Now, uh, you were with a, there's a very famous picture I wanted to take out that you did with these are the four, I think, greatest men of horror films, yeah. right? Can we get a picture of that? It's a very famous picture. Actually, we did it as a gag one Friday the 13th. And it's Boris Karloff, Peter Lorre, Basil here. Rathbone, Basil Rathbone is and here. myself doing all the superstitions <laughs> under a ladder, a broken mirror, salt, a black cat. Do you know what any of the superstitions mean? Sure. The, the mirror, for example. Well, salt is always superstitious. A black cat, I don't like black cats. Do you like black cats? I'm not a cat person. No, I'm, I'm, a I'm neither. I, dogs I, more. No, I like them too. But cats scare me. I never, never let a black cat cross my path. If I can help it, you know, I, I walked 25 miles one day with a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it was very tiring. <laughs> yes. What about, just to get off the subject a little bit, I want to go back to superstitions, but y we had Anthony Quinn on. You are yeah. such an art connoisseur. And we were talking about art, because he's yeah. an artist also, and he said, the dumb things people <laughs> say in a gallery, they walk in and say, I don't know what I like, yeah. but I know I like that. Yeah. And he said it's one of the all-time stupid things people yeah, say about art. That's probably the silliest thing in the world, is to walk what? into a gallery and say, I don't know anything about art, but I know what I like. I once wrote a book called I Like What I Know. That's what I was Because thinking. art is so complicated that you really have to know about it if you're going to get into it. If you're going to buy art, you better know something about it. Or someone. Or someone. <laughs> that's it's why I always so turn right. to someone you. Someone who does. No, uh, you know, the, one of the funny things is that I think the thing to say when you walk into a gallery and you don't want to commit yourself, you know, say, isn't it interesting? That means nothing. <laughs> no. Absolutely nothing at all. It means, isn't it interestingly bad? Isn't it interestingly good? You can get away with that. See, but you're very clear. Well, you, you are one of the few people that make me laugh. You and your wife, Carl Brown. She's funny. Lady. Yeah. She's yeah. funny. And lady. you married how long now? Twelve 
marvelous year. Happy, 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 happy year. Thank you very much. And why do you think it work, was working I out? think we, because we laugh a lot. And Carl has funny things to say. You know, she's quoted this week, I think, in, in, in People, People Magazine. Magazine. Yeah. I did a picture with Betty Davis and Lillian Gish. They're all quite elderly, and so am I. And the company was called Alive Pictures. And Carl said it should be called Just Barely. <laughs> She walked out of a stage door one night. We were doing a play in London, and a lady came up to her and said, Oh, Miss Brown, I haven't had anything to eat for four days. And she said, Force yourself, dear. <laughs> and gave her a $5 bill, which I think That's is so very sweet. Force yourself. Now, you were on one of the biggest records of all time. Yeah. Thriller. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's so a 70 million copies. I, I think it is still the biggest record of all time. People, people really thought, you know, that, that there was something very peculiar about my doing that, but I thought it was so wonderful to work with those two men, you know. They were just extraordinary, Michael now, Jackson. And it's Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. And it's full moon. Yeah. And to have you sitting here and not do your part on Thriller would be a sin, which you've never done on television. I've never done it. No, I know, I know, I know. I beg you. Well, all right, I okay, will. All right. All right. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize your neighborhood. And whosoever shall be found without the soul for getting down must stand and face the hounds of hell and rot inside a corpse's shell. The foulest stench is in the air, the funk of 40,000 years. And grizzled ghouls from every tomb are closing in to seal your doom. And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver. For no mere mortal can resist the evil of the 